I, when I spoke to Josephine, she mm-hmm. mentioned your, um, you know, actual reading of the books to be one of the things that you brought to the table as a director. And I was wondering <laughs> <laughs> what it is that is, is there anything, any aspect or tone that you wanted to ensure was in the film from your own experience with the books? Yeah. Um, that's so funny because it seems like a no brainer, <laughs> obviously you're going to read the books. Um, but yeah, when I read it, it just, it felt so much like something I've been through personally that, um, you know, I identified for better or for worse, um, with Tessa so much that I felt like bringing that kind of like gravity of what you feel in a relationship and uh, how you're perceiving things, whether it's right or wrong, but the point of view that you have and that sense of anxiety that you have when you're in a relationship with someone who is, um, sort of, you know, all over the place emotionally. Um, so I think coming at it from like a deeply personal place is, is how I approached things as opposed to, um, you know, from a humorous place, um, which I think sets it apart quite a bit. Definitely. I, I thought that this film did a really great job of exploring, like you said, Tessa's anxiety and that that was brought to the forefront, you know, for people to deal with, for both members of this relationship to deal with. Yeah. Speaking of things they both have to deal with, we get more family dynamics in this Mm -hmm. film. We get to open a few more doors uh, to their personal domestic lives, I guess. What would you say that did for their characters and relationship in this film? Yeah, I think that it it forces them to operate as a unit as opposed to them creating all of their own drama amongst themselves. Now they have to face the outside world, which I think helps, um, you know, make the film and the characters more mature. It's not just um, them fighting amongst themselves. It's like these are real stakes and real events that are coming at them and how are they going to react as a unit to that? And will, will they be able to remain a unit? I also love that we got to actually see uh, more of Tessa with her work, you know, and exploring the trajectory of her future career. What does Seattle mean to her? Yeah, I think it's like this, we all do that, right? Where it's like, we have these ideas in our head and like Seattle is, um, this paragon of like freedom and adulthood for her. Um, and she holds it up as that. So it's, you know, in, in number four, she, she goes to New York and she's like still finding herself. And so we know that it's not about like where you go, it's who you are when you go there. I love that. (laughs) Um, Now, as someone who has read the books, um, and obviously, you know, fans are very, um, faithful like they want a very faithful adaptation is there anything that you definitely wanted to make sure stayed in there or stayed as faithful as possible any scene that you're proudest of in terms of translation I mean to me the whole all of it was really important and the reality is you can't keep all of it um so I think honing in on that Tessa and Harden like the important moments for Tessa and Harden are what is in there and so a lot of the um peripheral characters are cut out or maybe minimized. And sometimes, you know, that's, that's unfortunate because like I would love to see a whole movie with chance um, (laughs) playing Landon, like he's Mm -hmm. fabulous. Um, And Vance and Kimberly, like there's all these characters that I would love to see much more of. And unfortunately they kind of get downshifted. They, you know, in, within this franchise, because, what is most important always is that Hessa relationship. Um, but keeping, you know, you've seen the movie, so you've seen like, we keep a lot of the important scenes. Um, and I think getting rid of the, um, the love triangle aspect of it was important too. <laughs> yes. Uh, I did. I did think it was great that there's like never a sense that she's going to stray, you know? Yeah. 
in the book, it seems maybe more possible. So, <laughs> but the fans didn't like that, which was, yeah, I mean, exactly. it's counterintuitive, but, um, but we really do like to take into account, like how fans, the, the fans want to see Harden and Tessa together. That is what they want. They don't want a love triangle. And so even though like your Hollywood, my Hollywood sensibilities are like love triangle that sells um, here. It's like, no, listen to the fans and let that be your guiding light. Yeah, I think that they are going to really like your interpretation. So thank cool. you so much. I really enjoyed uh, your answers and your directive. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Have you. a great day. 